you know, I can honestly, if you love season one of Picard or season two of Picard, great for you. In my opinion, there's about 20 minutes total worth of great stuff. If they could take 20 minutes from season one and 20 minutes from season two, put them together, um, I'd buy that on like Blu-ray, like 40 minutes. Like that's all I would buy. But when, you know, I love Star Trek and I love Star Trek The Next Generation. It's my favorite show of all time. I watch it every day almost since 1987. That's not a lie. Um, my wife as well. It's kind of crazy. Um, I love it. Patrick Stewart's Picard is is a guy I always tried to be like, even though I'm not like him whatsoever. I try to be as much like him as I can. Picard season one and two is so so awful. But when somebody I know that is like me loves TNG but hates stupid crap, and they say, hey, you know, I'm thinking about watching Picard season one and two finally, what is it like? And I'm like, well, it's like this. With every passing year, I look up at the sky, and I see the sun shining back at me, and I remember the things my mother used to say to me, before she died, of course, before she hung herself, or hanged herself. She would say, Jean-Luc, look up. And even in a moment of peril, even in a moment of darkness, you can find the smallest of hope and hang on to it. And that's what my mother taught me. As I stared at her lifeless, hanged body, I realized that I wasn't going to let my life go to waste. I was going to make my mother proud. I was going to become more. Reach for the stars. And then at this point, someone usually says to me, is that Picard's mother hangs herself? And then I say yes. And then I show them a clip of Guinan, who hates America and the world and says it's a terrible, horrible place, even though we know that Guinan, back when slavery was happening, uh, or, you know, maybe not slavery actually at the time, but back when, you know, black and white people couldn't exactly drink out of the same fountain, Guinan was walking around saying things were great amongst all the white people. Like, this is great. Love this place. And the list of terrible goes on and on and on. And uh, please let season three be good. Please let season three be so good that I will, I won't even call it season three. If season three of Picard is good, I will buy the Blu-ray. I will cross out, I may cross out Picard and cross out three, and I'll just pretend it's Star Trek Reunited. And I will never buy season one and two on Blu-ray, obviously. But there are some beautiful, a couple beautiful scenes in season one and two. It's too bad because the like, <laughs> I find myself going back and watching those couple of beautiful scenes, and then being like, "All right, there's nothing else to do." Anyway, there's a new trailer coming out for Picard season three, which we will talk about. There's already some new images, and I'll get to those on this channel as well. But for now, I just wanted to keep you guys updated. I've been watching Deep Space Nine. My Deep Space Nine reviews are coming as well, and uh, as well as among with many other things here, talking about Star Trek. Um, 
Michael Dorn Wharf was just on uh, Shuttle Pod One podcast. It's great. Go listen to it if you haven't heard those guys. Um, and there's really nothing else much more I could say. I wish I could write Star Trek, or I mean, I wish I could be able to write Star Trek. I wish I knew somebody involved in Star Trek so I could start writing Star Trek. I never wanted to ever uh, write Star Trek uh, because I loved it so much. I felt that was weird, you know. But now, after seeing what I've seen, um, I I almost want to like take it, oh, like save it. I wish I I wish I was a billionaire so I could buy Star Trek to fix it. But maybe Terry Metalis has started that with season three. Maybe, maybe not. We'll find out soon. But I'll watch it, and it will be maybe the last thing I ever watch if it's not good. So this is it. I can't take much more of this. Reach for the stars. I don't know. Watch the rest of these videos. If you if you haven't seen all my Star Trek videos, uh, watch the rest of my Star Trek videos. They're popping up right now. And subscribe right here to Star Trek Late Night.